Hello guys, welcome to Civilcraft YouTube channel and in this video, we will go through the essential thumb rules to be followed for giving a column layout. Of course, columns has to be designed in accordance to the total forces acting on the structure. But apart from that, it is essential for every civil engineer and architect to remember a few thumb rules so that they are prevented from making mistakes. Before going to the video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be receiving a notification whenever I post a new video on civil engineering and architecture. The three thumb rules that we are going to see is the size of columns, distance between columns and alignment of columns. The size of columns depends on the total load on the columns. There are axial loads and lateral loads. Large beam spans induce bending moment not only in the beams but also in the columns which are pulled by the stresses in the beams. It is important to use advanced structural design software like ETABS or STATPRO. I highly recommend every engineer to learn this software. The thumb rules are for general designing in every small projects. For this general thumb rule, we'll assume a structure of G plus 1 floors high using a standard wall of 9 inches thickness. Minimum size of RCC column should not be less than 9 inches by 12 inches. That is 225 mm by 300 mm with 4 bars of 12 mm FE415 steel. These days, the minimum I use in my projects is 9 inches by 12 inches with 6 number of bars of 12 mm dia of FE500 grade steel. You can never go wrong with strong columns. I also recommend use of M20 grade concrete for the structure with a ratio of 1 part of cement to 1.5 part of sand to 3 parts of aggregate with 0.5 parts of water by volume. I recommend use of 8 mm stirrups at a distance of 150 mm center to center throughout the length of column. This setup of 9 inches by 12 inches RCC columns is safe for G plus 1 pros. There are a lot of other recommendations, but this is just a thumb rule. Span between two columns. For the above column setup, a span up to 5 meters is quite safe. One can use beams of size 9 inches to 12 inches, that is 225 mm by 300 mm with a slab thickness of 5 inches that is 125 mm. This beam can be casted with M20 grade of concrete for up to span 5 meter. There are other considerations like secondary and tertiary spans, point loads and wall loads which has to be considered. It is complicated but thumb rules can work if the structure is simple. As I already said, it is always recommended to use a structural design software like ETAPS or STATPRO for design. In a beam up to 5 meters length, secondary spans up to 4 meter, wall loads up to 8 kN per running meter, the following steel count can be used. For top steel, that is for top reinforcement, 2 bars of 12 mm and for crack bars, 2 bars of 12 mm cranked at an angle of 45 degree at a distance of L by 4 at both ends of the simply supported beam. And for bottom reinforcement, 3 bars of 12 mm dia can be used. This configuration can change depending upon a lot of factors. Alignment of column. Placing of columns depend completely on the plan. A planner has a very important job. A grid column placement is always preferred in order to reduce point loads and unnecessary complications while construction. It reduces the cost of construction as well as the time required for the construction. Beams which have continuity with other simply supported beams have reduced bending moments and thus require less steel and concrete depth to be safe. Columns have to be connected with each other for smooth transfer of loads. An experienced planner will keep such things in mind when planning the structure. I hope you got an idea on the thumb rules of designing a column layout. This can be used only in the site in specific situations and I always recommend to go for a structural design or consult with a structural engineer for a safer building with high strength and low cost. That's all for this video guys. Please do like and share this video if you find it useful.